Hello, my name is Dwayne Kimball, owner and founder of KMD89 VA Claims Consultant, Leave No Vet Behind, and also I'm a United States Army veteran. Today I'm bringing you another educational video as it pertains to the VA disability compensation claims process. But before I get into today's video, I just want to wish uh, everyone, I hope that everyone had a happy, fun, and safe 4th of July weekend. I know I did, ate a lot. I uh, was out of town, but I'm back home now, and it looks like we're having some uh, inclement weather. It's supposed to have a hurricane, tropical uh, storm coming through, so we're getting prepped for that, okay? So today, today's educational video, I'm going to be talking about prescribed forms, step two in the VA claims process. But before I get into today's video, I just want to update everyone that our training has been updated on our website. So if you go to kmd89.com, that's kilo mike delta 89.com, and you click on the KMD classes link at the top, you can see all the educational classes for the month of July. Okay, so the first slide I'm going to show you is I had received a comment from the previous video where I showed a slide showing veterans how to access the description section of my YouTube video or any YouTube videos for this matter, okay? And someone left a comment saying, well, I'm on my mobile device and there's no description section. So I took a screenshot and I'm gonna show you in this slide how you can access the description section of all my videos to all my YouTube channels, okay? So here, in this slide, slide number one, you can see I took a screenshot and in the screenshot, it was from the previous video, okay? Um, you see my name, my picture, the number of subscribers, the published date, and then you see the top part of the description section. It's not the entire the de description section, but it's the top part. So if you look in the top right-hand corner, there's a triangle, and I have it outlined in red, and the triangle is pointed up. So if you're on your mobile device, look for this triangle, and you have to click it, and when you click it, and it goes up, you can see the description section. When you click it again, it goes down. You cannot see the description section, okay? So when you're on your mobile device, look in the top right-hand corner next to the name of the video and look for that triangle, okay? And then you just click click it once or twice, whatever, until you can see all of, this, uh, all of the description section. Now, you only see the top part, and you have to scroll down to see the remainder. If you, obviously, if you're on your um, iPad, laptop, or PC, there's another button that says show more, show less, and I share that in my previous video. Okay, so I hope that helps out for the viewers that are looking at my videos on their Android, Apple, uh, slash mobile device, okay? So, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about prescribed forms. As a recap of the first video, you already figured out the conditions you're claiming, where they fall under the five ways of service connection, and what is the criteria for all five ways of service connection. I'm going to link that video at the end of this video, okay? So that way you can understand if you, had, if you hadn't saw the first step or the first video, you can go back, watch it, and then come to step two. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about prescribed forms. You've already figured out the first step. You know what you want to claim under the five ways you want to claim it. Now, which forms do you need? A lot of veterans make um, the incorrect decision of the incorrect form. If you submit the incorrect form for what you're claiming, then you're going to get a letter from the VA telling you that, and it's just going to postpone your claim. Okay? So I'm going to share a slide. I'm going to go over some of the prescribed forms. Now, these are not all the prescribed forms. There's just some common ones that I think you should familiarize yourself with. Okay? So, in the next slide. Here in the next slide, you can see all of the, not all, but some of the uh, formal prescribed forms. All right? So, the first one. The first one is VA Form 21-526EZ. And what is that form? application for disability and related compensation. Now on the right side, you'll see some, some, not all, but some examples of why you would use this form. If you were filing a new claim, 
If you were filing a claim for SMC, which is special monthly compensation, if you were filing a claim for increase or uh, secondary condition, okay, and then et cetera. So there are some other uh, reasons that you possibly would um, use this particular form, all right? But if you never filed a claim before, and it's, you know, it's your first time, this is the form, nine times out of 10, that you would be submitting, okay? Now, the second form is a VA form 20-0995, decision review request for a supplemental claim. Why would you be using this form? A reopened claim means that you were previously denied, and then you come back in and you want to reopen that condition. And that's called a supplemental claim. Now, what is it that you need to reopen or submit with a 0995? I put new material evidence, but the 38 CFR has changed and, they, and the VA is calling it new and relevant evidence, okay? I, did, I recently did a video on supplemental claims and I'll link that uh, at the end of this uh, video so you can go back and review that. But the most important thing is to remember new and relevant evidence. And ev that's evidence that was, that was not previously reviewed or used in making that decision that denied that particular condition. Okay? So, moving on. The next claim form is a VA Form 20-0996. Decision review request for higher level review. Why would you need to complete this form? <clears throat> Excuse me. If you were uh, submitting a high-level review. Now, in a high-level review, no new evidence can be submitted. On this form, you can select an informal conference. But also on this form, it states you and, or, you and or your representative has to point out errors. A lot of people miss this. Again, recently I did a video on this. And uh, DJ and myself, my counterpart, we did a live stream. I'm going to link that 0996 High Level Review YouTube video at the end of uh, this video where I'm talking about the changes on the 0996. I'm not talking about the entire High Level Review, but I'm just talking about some of the changes uh, that they updated this form recently. Okay? So the next form is a VA form 21 8940, Veterans Application for Increase Compensation Based on Unemployability, also known as IU, okay? Why would you complete this form if a veteran was uh, claiming individual unemployability? Now, one thing to remember, IU is not a standalone claim, but a claim for increase for conditions you are claiming IU for, Okay? I recently, did, this year I did a video on individual unemployability, okay? Uh, and I think if I have room, I'll link that video to the end of, at the end of this uh, video as well, all right? So, the last prescribed form is a VA form 21-2680, and this is an examination for housebound status or permanent need for regular aid and attendance. You'll see this form more so when veterans are claiming aid and attendance. So why would you be using this form? SMCL, Special Amount for Compensation, L. L is the designation for aid and attendance, okay? It has to be due to service-connected conditions only. I've had veterans tell me, oh, well, my doctor at the VA didn't tell me that or whatever. If you look at these regulations, these three, and I'll leave them up here. If you look at those three, you can go and find the criteria for SMCL, okay? And in one or if not all these 38 CFRs, Code of Federal Regulations, they state it has to be due to a service-connected condition, okay? So go through and look at those 38 CFRs, and you can go to M21. They'll show you some uh, information as it pertains to SMCs, SMCLs. That was just a few, Okay? So, just as, a quick week, just as a quick recap, in the first video, I talked about step one. Five ways of service connection, claim conditions, which one are you uh, claiming those conditions under, 
and what is the criteria for each uh, five ways of service connection. Step two, which claim form do you need to put that particular condition on and why? That's what we just talked about. OK, so it's definitely important that you become educated on that. All right. So make sure you go out to our website, kmd89.com. Look at our current uh, educational training that we have for the month. So please like, subscribe, hit that notification button and please share this video. If I don't see you in one of our monthly educational trainings, I'll look forward to seeing you in our next educational video. Thank you.